Yeah, my name is Lakshmi. I have around uh, six plus years of experience in IT industry. Five plus years of experience on teaching for uh, ITP. So I'm working in multiple uh, MNCs. Currently, I work in the one of the top MNCs as a talent developer. Okay, yeah, that's it from my end. And coming to this course, it's the ETL de developer course. ETL front and developer course. Okay, in ETL, we have a number of platforms, number of tools like as Informatica, SSIS, IBM, Data Stage, or something else. And one of the ETL platform is Talent. One of the ETL platform is Talent, Talent Developer. Uh, did you uh, learn this Talent tool before come to the demo? Any idea? Suraj and Amol. Any idea on this? Yeah, as well transformation and the load. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What about a mole? Mm, yeah, please continue, Suraj. I am new to this. Oh, wait. And some queries, SQL related queries or operation performed on this platform. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. It's a. Are you hunting for a high paying IT job? Those is it is the right course for you. And are you holding any degree from IT or non IT? And those uh, also it's the right course for you. Uh, you are from any degree. It's a language. Um, education is not barrier to this course to enter that IT industry. And are you poor at coding level and developing the jobs? Okay, it is the right course. Those are, and but still you are poor at coding level and developing the jobs. But still you want to join in IT for a high paying IT salary. Uh, this is the right course. Okay, yeah, these course highlights are. These are the highlights of this course. It's a zero coding, complete zero coding, high pay salary. And any degree is eligible, more demand in market, and less resources are available. Easy to learn and user friendly tool. This technology feature is 15 to 20 years. And to get the basic, to get the job and basic interview questions only. Okay, come to that first point. It's a zero coding. And in ETL, in ETL, as a talent, uh, this tool, we are developing the jobs completely zero coding. We, we are not using any code here. But what we will do in ETL? ETL means, ETL stands for extract, means reading the data. T transform, T stands for transform the data. L stands for load the data. We are only reading the data, given the data, and transform, do the transformation as per the customer requirement and loading the data. That's it. In in this process, in this process, we are not using uh, any code in, in ETL process. Okay. High pay salary. Because of why they are giving that high pay salary. Very less resources are available in market. Very less resources are available in market. Let's see. And your cousins or your neighbors or anyone, very less of the people know about that. In market also, very less of the people know about the talent tool. So that's why uh, there's a more demand in market and less resources are available. And this uh, tool is very e easy to learn and user-friendly tool. This tool is a very uh, easy to learn and user-friendly tool. And this technology uh, future is 15 to 20 years. Why? Because I'm saying strongly this technology feature. And it's completely, we are developing the data on, we are developing the data on bank industry and retail industry and 
commerce commerce industry bank retail and commerce industry only these industries data most of it 99% of the etl platforms these industries are using the etl platforms as per as per their transformations we are transferring transferring the data and loading the data why we are trying why we do all this why we do all this why all these things because then it's for for analyzation purpose and we mm -hmm. do all this why do that analyzation if you are have if you have any business without analyzation the business will be not a we are not estimating it's a profitable business or loss business it's pro we are not as we are not assuming we are not we are not estimating so but our business is going to the profitable business or our business is going to that loss we are loss in the way and for estimating that uh, analyzation purpose are using the etl tool simple one word answer one word why we need why the companies are using the etl tools etl tools to transform the data because of the analyzation of the data purpose analyzation of the data purpose and this uh, talent training package includes i'm giving that sql knowledge basic sql and the data warehouse concepts data warehouse concepts and uh, talent theory and practicals yeah hello venkat good morning i am audible oh first you audible yeah you just join these are the highlights of the course venkat just see Yeah, it's a zero coding. Highlights of this course: high paid salary, any degrees eligible, more demand in market, less resources are available, easy to learn and user friendly. This technology feature is fifteen to twenty years, and to get the job also, they are asking simple basic interview questions. And I'll give the stuff in this course. Uh, this duration, forty-five days of the duration. I'll give the four to five years of experience. Four to five years of experience stuff. I'll 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 give you in this training. Okay. And this training uh, package includes basic skill and data warehouse concepts. Talent theory and practicals, live scenarios with study materials, two real world projects. These are the training talent training package includes. And let me remember one thing: it is not a testers, and it is a completely developing front end developer course. It is a front end developer course. Okay, let me give you. Yes. Uh, any questions up to here? No. Would I will not go to the office? Any questions up to here? Any doubts or any questions? Any. Any other competitor is there or talent? Means 
any other means uh, software is a competitor to this talent informatica okay that is also one of the etl tool ssis a number of etl tools in the market and it is one of the top etl tool this place to... goes to the uh, third place now uh, ssis means it will be like a microsoft uh, power bi tool no ma'am yes yes exactly For so data engineering, so for data engineering, what they use ma'am for ATL, uh, like Azure, uh, Google, GCP, data engineering. Yeah, data engineering in in data engineering ETL for ETL also one of the course in data engineering, big data ETL. These are the courses in data engineering. It's also one of part of the data engineering ETL developer course. Okay. Are they are they they having separate program in that data engineering? Huh? In data engineering, they have separate tool, ma'am. Like uh, mm -hmm. no, no, Venkat, uh, you are confusing. Data engineering is a course. In the data engineering, have number of courses like big data and uh, ETL. Okay. Like number of the courses available. It is uh, uh, in data engineering number of under data engineering we have number of courses, Venkat. Okay. Uh -huh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. The talent course duration. It's a talent course, front end developer course. Talent, front end developer course. These are the highlights of the course. You are entering into that uh, course. And course highlights are these are the course highlights. Zero coding, high pay salary, any degree is eligible, more demand in market, less resources are available. And easy to learn, user friendly. To get the job, very basic interview questions. I'll provide the basic interview questions. And this trial talent training or package includes. I'll provide all this in forty five hours of the time. And let's see what is ETL. ETL. What is ETL? E stands for extract the data. Means we are reading the data. T transfers transforming the data and L transfer load the data. Reading, transformation, and loading. We are only 5% of concentration on extra reading the data. Reading the data. And 90% concentration of transforming the data. And 5% concentration of load the data into the database. What are the techniques that are using here? In the five percent of the uh, reading the data, and what are the techniques are using for uh, transformations? More learn the more in transformation, and then finally load into the data. Why do we learn? Why do we need learn to the ETL? Why do we? Uh, in market we have number of uh, number of IT courses are available. Why we need to learn? Uh, ETL only. Why we choose the ETL platform in my as a career in my career because it's a these are the highlights. Simple highlights are we use zero coding, high pay salary. It's a tool based tool. If you are learning the tool, it's a, it's already developed by some coding. We are front end developers. We are not using any code here. So it's completely zero based coding. For what purpose are companies are using this tool? For what purpose companies are using this tool? For analyzation purpose only, companies are using this tool. For analyzation, our business is profitable or loss. For analyzation of the for analyzation of the company using this tool. Okay. Why do we learn talent only? Why why not for for that other technology, other ETL tools? If you are learn that ETL as a informatica, in backend you should be learn the SQL and Unix. These are the and deep data warehouse concepts. Why use that Unix means the informatica power center completely uh, developed by ETL command Unix commands. 
let me comment the challenge is running uh, we have run the job in our local windows our windows only so that's why is the talent is better than other tools we are running in local and i am also in my 6 years of experience i'm using this tool on windows only i'm not using any commands and advantages of talent is also uh, these are that advantages of the talent tool and in my time i knew that the way of the training every day we have daily based assignments every day we have daily based assignment I'll, today i'll tell one topic regarding on this topic i give that assignments daily basis assignment <coughs> and we have number of real time scenarios will be practicing on this for interview purpose and in your real time also or using based on these scenarios your interview on 4 to 5 years of experience you will put in your keep your keep in your resume 4 to 5 years of experience these are the questions they will ask these are the trending questions they ask in uh, interview base and daily base assignments and i'll provide that one whatsapp link also i'm monitoring your work on whatsapp okay i'll provide and apart from this i'll give that number of files i'll giving the number of practice files to practice all the classes okay in in these practice files we have the text files csv files and json files xml files and excel files these are the file formats are mostly are using in the talent all kinds of the file formats will be discussed here okay and let's go to that tool i'm opening the tool what kind of the details do you want uh, suraj meanwhile i'll open the uh, talent tool means man means uh, talent uh, how mm -hmm. it is looking and how to connect database and uh, etc yeah that's why right. coming to that point it's take a uh, little bit time one to two uh, minutes i want to know one i want to know about one more question uh, etl mm -hmm. what is the difference between etl and data analysis etl is different or data analysis is different or both are or both are same why both is the different okay what's the difference etl we are extracting uh, it uh, like we are transforming the data and then, then load the database right and analysis means after loading the database and the power bi developer those are uh, get the reports and analysis okay and uh, yeah what Yeah, please. In the industry, Power BI or Tableau developer are different, or both. Your voice is completely breaking. Your voice is breaking, Suraj. I I'm typing uh, because some network issue are there. Mhm. Mm because it's a too high raining are there. Oh. In Pune, Maharashtra, Mumbai, right? Yes, Ankit. What is your question? 
Sir, is there any students for party section? Is there for our organization in our, our institute? Sorry? In our institute, is there any uh, chance for them to practice uh, for our section on Thailand? Yes, you can come to that institute, but I will not available. Okay. Do hmm. you have any questions or any doubts? Something to online only. Okay. I clarify your doubts online. Okay. And I'll give one WhatsApp number. I'll give one number to you. And after this class, one call to me. I'll suggest that. Okay. Okay. Okay, save this number. Okay. Yeah, I took one. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes, this is a tool. Yeah, this is a tool. Okay, very first line. I'd say it's completely open source tool. Okay, anywhere from here, download uh, this tool. It's open source. Google, in the Play Store also, it's not Play Store, Google Chrome. Go to the Google and search it. Talent Open Studio for Big Data. It will come. It's an open source tool. Okay. And the second line, is these are the tabs. File tab, Edit tab, Windows tab, Help tab. And how it will be used in... In what purpose are you using? Further classes, we'll discuss all these. And it is a repository section. It's a repository section. A repository section means it's a, like as our human brain. All the jobs and code completely stored in this repository section. And it is a designer window. We are developing the jobs and designer window. We are developing the jobs and designer window. And it is a palette section. This is a palette section. All the components are available in palette section. Okay. And it is the outlook section. Means what are the components we'll be using to develop this job. And those components will be available in outlook section. Outlook section. And this section is configuration tabs. We have four configuration tabs. Job tab, context tab, component tab, and run tab. And run tab. We are basic run the jobs and component tab. The component information is available and the context tab. What are the context we'll be using in this to develop this job and the job tab. And we'll discuss all this for further classes one by one. Okay, now it is completely empty, right? So I'll create one job. Select the job, right click, refresh this one. Okay, now right click. Right, not working. Create the job. Give the job name, job underscore, then finish. Now pop up that all. Yes. Previously, it's completely blank, white in color. Now, pop up this. These are the components tab. All the components are available here. And these are the configuration tabs. Let me, I'll open one file. I'll design one small ETL job.
open the file in our edit with the plus plus. Where is the data? This is a small file. In this file, uh, how many records? How many records have in this file? Hmm. How many records have in this file? 11. 11 records. Okay. This file, this file have the 11 records. The first record is a, it's not a record. It is a schema of the file, metadata of the file, metadata of the file, information, data about the data, data about the data. It's a header. In ETL platform, it's called in as a header, header of the file. We have total 11 records in this file in this file okay in these 11 records customer wants customer wants i want that uh, hyderabad data or i want that only chennai data if we are any anything we are filtering like for example i want the department number 10 record i have like for example i want the department number 20 records how many records have department number 20 1 2 3 4 5 how to extract only department number 20 records First, how to read this file? How to read this file? The way receiving the file, first analyze the file. Analyze the file. What do you, what are, what type of the analyzation keeping in your mind? This file have that header or not? Yes, this file have that header. And this file uh, belongs to, it's a what, uh, what type of the file? It's a text file or means CSV file or Excel file or JSON file or XML file or some other type of the file. It's a CSV file, means comma separated value file, right? Delimiter is comma, delimiter. Delimiter means to separated by, separated by two columns have one value, it's a delimiter. What is the delimiter in this file? Comma. What comma is the delimiter, right? How to read this file? Comma delimited file. Let's see here yes, metadata delimited files. Create file delimited. Give the file name. Demo file. And then click on next. We have total four steps to read the file. Click on next. First step, give the file name. Second step, choose browse. Pick this file from local to talent tool. Then EMP. Then click on open. And click on next. And it's a comma separated, right? Comma separated. This file have that header. This is a way to read the file. These are the steps need to be followed to read the file. Just refresh and it comes as a tabular format. Then click on next. And talent gets that automatically schema, data types, and 
See, this data type is the integer and it is a string. It's an integer, 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 string, string. Salon read the data automatically, uh, all the data types. And what do you do? And increase the length. Then click on finish. And how to get the database connections. Create the connection. We are loading into the data into the database, right? So we need connections. Give the connection name. I'll give the database for you, Oracle database. Oracle dev. Then click on next and choose the DB. These are the DBs are supported the talent. Oracle service team. I'll provide it the DB for you. And login credentials. Check the connection. Connection successful, then finish. Okay, how to read the file? This is the way. These are the steps you need to follow. Read the file. How to check the database connection? This is the way to check the database. And now design the job. Or, yeah, tomorrow will be designed in the job or how to do the transformations tomorrow only. There are other ways, let me take the small transformation, small ETL job. I'll drag and drop. This is icon is called the component. This icon is called the component in talent. Okay, load into the database, right? The data goes from left to right. The data goes from left to right. This is the left input. And it is a output. This is a output. Okay, in between transformation. ETL means extract, reading the data and transforming the data and using the filter component because the customer wants out of this, out of this, customer wants only 20 records, like SQL using the weight condition, right? Here we are not using writing any SQL and entire all the transformations in root components only. How to configure this one, double click and click on the plus icon. What is which column we are uh, transforming? Customer wants the data, department number. And what is the value? 20, that's it. Talent will take it back in. Filter. And a double click how to configure the database and just give the table name. That's it. Then no table. And action on table. Let's discuss all these. What are the options? Why all these options will be useful? Let's discuss and all the options one by one. Now run the job. It's basically a small ETL job, extracting, reading the data, transforming the data, loading to the database. Small ETL job. load the data successfully. Now copy the table name. We'll check the data. Copy the table name. And go to the database and check the data. We have total 11 records. Out of 11 records, 
five records as per the condition, five records are loaded into the database. This process is called unit test. Once load the data into the database and cross check the database also. How many records are loading and what is the schema is loading. Six to five records are loaded, right? So that's it. It's a small ETL job. Anyone have any questions you would like to ask in online or offline? That's my contact number. And you can contact. Okay. This is my contact number. This is my contact number. You can contact in offline also. Okay. Yeah, that's it today. Tomorrow will be made the same time, 7 to 8. Ma'am, uh, is there any evening batch also? You need what? At what time? Mm, after 5 p.m., 6 p.m. We have one more batch, 10 o'clock. Uh, at night? Night, yes. Okay, and uh, now is it running means uh, started or ended? not yet started? Not yet started, will soon start. In. Okay, sure, sure. Uh, within two days, one to two days. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thanks for joining. Bye bye.